spill it. Oh. <laughs> Like she doesn't really care about too much, but she's such a such a good person. And like, I was so surprised when she like followed me and like we like hung out and we were like became friends. Yeah. That whole family is just genuinely like really good people, and they just they only want the best for everyone. <laughs> All her fans are like don't get my humor. I think and like come at me. So it was over a year ago, uh, I messaged her and she shut me down very quick, which she should have. We have a lot of mutual friends um, and I just like, I just make sure that I don't like step over the line. They said she finds all my stuff funny. So, oh, Tana, <laughs> Tana. <laughs> oh, Tana. Yeah, no, she, she is, she is a handful. Yeah, I don't know what, what I can say with that, without getting her, getting angry at me. He doesn't gain anything out of like talking to me or being nice to me. Like if he punched me in the face, I'd probably be like, okay, cool, you like, you should do that. He just wanted to make sure that um, I like, I was all good because the, the, the show kind of happened very quickly and yeah. he just wanted to check in, I think, because I, it was really hard dealing with, with everything at once and then he would just randomly check in here and there and um, yeah, he's just a sweetheart. Addison actually used to be my neighbor. She used to like live right beside me. Such a lovely, caring, very sweet and wholesome person. Her mum and her brothers, they used to come over and try and steal my dog all the time. So I'd play with him and they're like, oh, can we just have him for the night? I'm like, no, you can't have him, he's my dog. Uh, but the whole family, everyone's really sweet. Monty's in a bit of hot water at the moment uh, and he's spiraling. <laughs> Pretty quickly, but um, we love, we love all of them. Yeah. Dylan, oh, <laughs> love Dylan. Dylan is a very, very awesome guy. Uh, he's just, he's a sweetheart. I think he, I don't know, I don't know if he's really made for this world. I, I think that he kind of just like got throw, thrown into it. And then obviously Joe, I'm blocked on Instagram. He hates me. He called my manager a piss ant. He doesn't like any of us. So I would love to meet him. I'd love to just get a photo. I'm a huge fan of him, but he just, he hates my guts. I knew my show was coming out and then Tiger King come out just before it. And I saw Dylan uh, and I, I messaged him and I was like, hey, I have a Netflix show coming out as well. I see you like, like, he was trying to post content and he was really struggling. So I messaged him and just to check in. I was like, hey, if you need just people to just help, let me know. And then anyway, long story short, he ended up got connected with my manager and, and he took, really took him under his wing. They became really, really good friends. And then they were filming for Tiger King season two. It was my birthday. I was in 7-Eleven. My friends like randomly were just like, oh, we gotta go. And I was like, whatever. So I went in 7-Eleven. I come out, all these black SUVs pull up. I was like, holy I'm on board of security. They're coming to deport me. Like I legitimately was like, oh, f I've overstayed my visa. I was freaking out. All these cameras get out. And I was sitting there like, oh, f like where's the Channel 7 logo? Like this is, this is crazy. And then um, I see him get out and my manager and they're like giggling. And I was like, what the f is going on? They're like, oh, we're filming Tiger King season two. Dylan wanted to come surprise his friends. I was like, I've actually never met him. So like, awesome. Like thank you. my manager just wanted to get me on the show. Oh, I love David. David gets a really bad rap. And I think that because he's had such positive content and so much fun that as soon as there was something to hold on to, there were people could like trash him. They're trying to, but he, in all honesty, very, very sweet, loving and caring dude. Noah is, he's literally like a Disney kid. Like he's so perfect and like he, he's the sweetest dude on the planet. Like so, so lovely. His skin's always good. He always smells good. He always looks good. And like, he's very like, uh, cares about his family and his friends. He's just, he's, he's, uh, he's such a sweetheart. Honestly, like, I really see that guy as like a big brother. Like he really, uh, when I first went on his podcast, um, he really, I don't know, just checked in and um, just just a sweetheart. He actually asked me to move in, him and Mike on the podcast and they're just, they're just really good so guys. I actually shot him a really cringe message the other day just saying how much like, um, I was like, I don't know, I saw his WWE stuff and I was just like, dude, like you really inspire me. I'm so proud of you. Like all this corny, cheesy shit. And then he replied, he's like, thanks for the kind words, man. I was like, oh. I would have hated this message if I received it. It was so corny. I was like, oh damn. Like I was just really emotional. I think it was because I was flying back to Australia and I was like, saw his stuff. I'm like, man, like this is awesome. Just see you guys winning. And I'm like, just yeah, corny.